Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to buy the PXT token, which is the token for Project X. This guide is beginner friendly. I'm going to start from the beginning on how to even set up a MetaMask just in case you don't have one. I'm going to show you how to buy AVAX on an exchange and I'm going to show you how to send that AVAX to your MetaMask wallet. And then I'll show you how to create nodes. Alright, so the first step in this process is we need a MetaMask account. Um, if you already have a MetaMask, you can go ahead and skip ahead to the area of this video that applies to you. But for those that don't have a MetaMask, we're gonna go ahead and go to metamask.io and we're gonna hit download. I'm currently on Chrome. They have it for the supported browsers. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit install MetaMask for Chrome, add to Chrome, add extension. So now that it brought us up to this page, we can go ahead and hit get started. We're gonna be creating a wallet. Either you can say I agree or no thanks. I don't know what this actually does. Uh, I just am going to hit I agree. I don't care. Go ahead and make a password. So the most important thing about this whole process, if you don't know a lot about crypto, this is your secret recovery phrase, also known as people just call it a seed phrase, pass phrase. This is extremely important. Do not give this to anybody. If you give this to anybody, they can literally just log in with it and take all your money that easy. Don't give this to anybody, not even your mom or dad, your girlfriend, your wife, your brother, your sister, nobody, God, nobody. Go ahead and hit next. This is your secret phrase. You would click reveal on this and it's going to give you all these random words. You need to write them down physically. Do not store them digitally. If someone hacks in your computer and they find it, all they have to do is copy paste this in and they can log into your wallet and take all your money and they have access to your nodes and all that stuff so again write this down on pieces of paper physically make sure it's correct and store it in secret locations don't tell anyone about it and don't lose it if you lose it you're also screwed if you log out of the browser so do not lose it and voila we have our metamask account so now that we have our MetaMask account, currently we only have the Ethereum network. But if you want to use Project X and get nodes with them, you're going to have to add the Avalanche network because that is the network that Project X runs on. So in order to add Avalanche network to our MetaMask wallet, we're going to go ahead and hit Add Network. Bring us up to this page. Don't worry about what any of this means. It's fine. You don't need to know. This information should be in the description, but what we're going to do is just copy the info to the corresponding text boxes. And we're going to hit save, and just like that, we have Avalanche. Okay, so now that we have Avalanche Network set up on our MetaMask, we need to add funds to that wallet. So I'm going to be using Coinbase uh, Pro. You can also use Binance, normal Coinbase, and KuCoin, and I'm sure there's others. I'm going to have links to the other exchanges on how to purchase Avalanche and send it to your Avalanche wallet. But for this video, I'm just going to be showing you Coinbase Pro because that's what I have. Again, go to the links in the description if you have Binance, KuCoin, the normal Coinbase. And I'll try to add other exchanges, but those are the most popular. Okay, so currently I have $38 US dollars that I'm able to purchase Avalanche with. If you do not have any money in here, um, there's plenty of tutorials on how to deposit funds into Coinbase, but pretty much you would just hit deposit and you would go to US dollars and you can either do bank account, uh, wire transfer. Yeah, I don't see it here, but you can also use a card. And just note that there might be a hold for a couple of business days. Uh, that's just how most exchanges are. Okay, so now that you have some money in your account, in Coinbase Pro, we're going to go ahead and go to trade. We're going to go to select market and we're going to type in AVAX. That is the coin that Avalanche Network uses. And we're going to go to AVAX USD because we're buying with USD. So I'm just going to hit max, um, use our $38, place buy order. So cool, our transaction went through. We have $38 worth of AVAX. Now the next step is we're going to be withdrawing this to our MetaMask. So you're going to go ahead and go to the browser you created your MetaMask in. And you're going to open the extension. And right here is going to be your wallet address. You can go ahead and copy that. Click it a few times. It'll automatically copy it. And in Coinbase, we're going to go to withdraw. We're going to be withdrawing our AVAX. And we're going to be withdrawing it to a crypto address. And we're going to go ahead and paste our crypto address. Use this address. And just before you send and do everything, make sure that it is the same. 51A9. 51A9. That's the last four of our uh, wallet. I'm going to click max AVAX because I want to send all of it. And we'll hit withdraw. 
withdraw AVAX, and it shouldn't be long before you see the AVAX arrive to your wallet. Okay, so now that we have our AVAX, we can go ahead and purchase PXT, which is the Project X token. Go ahead and go to projectx.financial. That is the official website for Project X. Make sure it's the exact same. Once you're here, you're going to go to the top and hit buy PXT. Go ahead, hit I understand, continue. What that does is it brings you to Trader Joe, which is a popular exchange people use on the Avalanche network to swap their AVAX and other coins to different tokens. Since we click that link, it automatically has PXT selected. So now that we're here, our wallet isn't connected, so it has no way of knowing how many how much funds we have, and it's not going to allow us to swap anything. So let's hit connect the wallet, MetaMask, because that's what we're using. If it just says initializing, go up here, go to your extension and open it up, and it'll have this window here. This is where we got to approve the use of our wallet. And now we're fully approved. If you see this, this means your wallet's connected. Now it knows how much AVAX we have in our wallet. So we can go ahead and purchase some PXT. I'm going to go ahead and just do 11. I'm buying 11 because at the moment of this recording, it takes 11 PXT to make one node. You get one back instantly. The reason for this is there were some issues at launch, I believe. And this is kind of their workaround. I don't know the exact reasoning. I know that there has been a couple issues at launch that the devs are working out and this might be a workaround that they're doing. I don't think it's going to be like this in the future. But yeah, it, it does, it's not actually costing you 11. It's just you're putting 11 up front and you can claim your one extra PXT. So I'm just going to buy 11 so I can purchase one node. Before you buy, just go ahead and click add PXT to wallet here at the bottom. I don't know why, but MetaMask isn't opening this automatically. It should open automatically. And it'll say add suggested tokens, hit add. Next, let's just hit swap. All right, guys, it's me from the future. I just wanted to say that before you actually confirm the transaction, you need to make sure that you leave about point two AVAX left over. You're going to need that point two to buy your node, to claim your nodes. It just always make sure you have a little bit of AVAX in your account to use for gas. Confirm swap. Open up your extension and it'll make you confirm. As you can see, a couple seconds later, we have 11 PXT now in our Avalanche wallet. Now that we have 11 PXT, we can go back to the Project X website and we can create our nodes. First, you're going to have to connect your wallet. So you're going to hit connect and confirm, connect. And when you see the last four of your wallet address, you know that your wallet is connected. So now we're going to hit approve. Open up MetaMask, confirm it. It's going to take a little bit of gas, two cents. So now that it has been approved, we can go ahead and hit create node. And we'll hit confirm. And our transaction actually went through, but you're going to have to refresh the page. So don't worry if you don't see your node. Just re refresh and you should see it. Go down here, you can see your node. And as you can see, you have that one PXT ready to be claimed because we used 11 PXT rather than 10. Like I said, I don't think this is going to be long term. This is just something that they're doing temporarily. So yeah, now we have our Project X node and I hope this video helped. Thank you for watching.